I'm Frank Wu. I'm the president of Queens College, part of the City University of New York. I have the honor of being the first Asian American to head Queens College right in the world's borough. What its own Linda means is Wu Hua Yang. My Chinese name has a story, like most Chinese names. That's Hua as in Zhonghua. It's common to my entire generation in the family. All of the cousins have Hua as part of their name. And then Yang is a pun. That's Fa Yang the Yang. It sounds like Yang as in ram or sheep. That's the year that I was born, 1967, right here in the United States. I'm trained as a lawyer. I decided it was important to stand up and speak out, to be an advocate. That happened because of the murder of Vincent Chin. I grew up in Detroit, the Motor City. I didn't know Chin, but I knew the time, the place. He could be my uncle, my brother. In that case, ugly words were used, racial slurs. That's the negative power of words, but I was convinced that it was possible to reach out to people by using a different type of words, a different type of rhetoric, so that we could persuade folks that we're Americans just like them, that we belong, that we have rights, that we've made contributions. I didn't set out to be a college president. Nobody sets out to be a college president. And I didn't want to be a college president. I wanted to be the Queen's College president. Because if you haven't been to Flushing, Queens the past 25 years, you wouldn't realize I was utterly transformed. The reason is because Asian immigrants, their American-born children, have created a new type of not just Chinatown, but people of Chinese background next to people of Korean background and Vietnamese and, and people who are Filipino right next to Orthodox Jews, Greeks, people of every type of background. So when you step out of that subway station and you look around, you wouldn't find that anywhere, even in Asia, that mixture. So I knew this was the place for me. Communities are formed, and individual lives are given meaning by the stories we tell. Museums are a form of collective storytelling. That's why MOCA is so important, why it is so meaningful. We all yearn to belong, and when we see our story as part of a much bigger narrative, we understand our place in the world.